This episode is brought to you by Blue Sound, makers of the Node X network streamer. Click the link in the show notes for more information. Welcome back, everybody. Yes, today I want to talk about Tidal, the streaming service, and hopefully help you answer the question, should you subscribe to Tidal's Hi-Fi tier or the more expensive Hi-Fi Plus tier? So in this video, I'm going to share my perspectives, and we'll start by asking the question, why use Tidal at all? Because for me, there are one, two, three reasons, I had to count that, why I even pay for Tidal, despite already having streaming accounts with Apple Music, Spotify, and SoundCloud. So the first reason that I subscribe to Tidal is Tidal Connect, which allows us to effectively hand off the stream from the Tidal app on the phone or the tablet to a supported network streamer sort of over there in the hi-fi rack. And its operational behavior mirrors that of Spotify Connect or Google Chromecast, but crucially not Apple AirPlay, which sees the audio stream travel through the smartphone or the tablet on the way to the streamer, which is over there in the rack. And a side note here, Google Chromecast, it's not gapless, but Tidal Connect is, Spotify Connect is, AirPlay is, in case you're wondering, but that's going off track, because I use the Tidal app on my phone when I'm out and about, and then when I get home, I come through the front door, and I can effectively sort of sling the song that's now playing on my phone into my main hi-fi system, and I don't have to pull up another app to search for that song or that album or whatever. It's right there in my phone already. Now, talking of other apps, the second reason why I subscribe to Tidal is its Rune integration. Because two of the most popular integrations for Rune are, as many people know, Cobas and Tidal. But I use Tidal because its library covers more of the music that I like. And because I can always fall back to Tidal Connect when I'm not using Rune. However, for me, the real benefit of Rune's Tidal integration is something called Rune Radio which uses Rune's AI, I think it's called Valance, to basically keep a similar style of music playing once the current playlist has finished. And I love this because it helps me discover new music. In fact, it's my primary source for new music discovery or new old music. And just this week, I discovered three EPs from a Berlin label that's slowly reissuing selected cuts from Pete Namluk and Move D's extensive catalogue, which is just fantastic. <laughs> And the third reason that I go for Tidal is it's higher quality streaming, because it's higher quality than Spotify at time of taping. And maybe you're looking at Tidal because you've got sick of waiting for Spotify to launch its hi-fi tier. Now, sometimes that better quality is CD quality, sometimes it's high res, and unfortunately, sometimes CD quality is called high res even though it isn't. And I think that's just an unfortunate cultural side effect of mainstream listeners spending years and years and years with lossy encoded files like those on the iTunes store. And yeah, the streams that come out of Spotify, they're lossy. But Tidal also offers bona fide high res where sample rates hit 48 kilohertz and above. But as you probably know from my coverage of this kind of thing, there's a gotcha. Well, actually, there are two gotchas, the first of which I think is more subjective on my part than the second. So firstly, we have to ask, 
Is our Hi-Fi system capable of resolving the differences between a 16441 CD quality stream and say a 2496 or 24192 high-res stream? And if it is, then we also have to ask, can we hear those differences? Now, before I answer those questions for myself, kindly note, please, that the audible benefits of high-res have nothing to do with the stream's content exceeding the upper limit of human hearing. Instead, it has everything to do with the placement and the slope of the digital filter. And loudspeaker engineer Peter Como explained this in a superb way in a recent episode of the Darko Audio Podcast, and I'll put a link to that in the description box below. But to me, with my gear, high-res audio sounds a little bit better than CD quality. That's assuming we're playing the same master of the same album but the difference between the two isn't as pronounced as two different masters of the same album. That's the reality for me with my gear. And I use some pretty costly stuff, you know, some reasonably high-end stuff. It's not uber high-end, not like we'd see in Munich, but it's pretty damn good. And so for me, the real world difference between Tidal CD quality capped Hi-Fi tier and the high-res loaded max sound quality Hi-Fi plus tier is much weaker than the six euro 50 per month price differential might suggest, especially when we also consider gotcha number two. Now let's return to our original question, Tidal Hi-Fi or Tidal Hi-Fi Plus. So looking at the comparison table on Tidal's website, we see that both tiers offer Tidal Connect, check. And we also see that both tiers offer access to Tidal's 100 million songs, another check. And we know that 99% of that library is available in CD quality on both tiers. So yet another check. And as part of our monthly fee, we also get access to 650,000 videos on Tidal's Android TV and iOS apps. Now it should be pointed out here that those apps on TV devices are 100% video clip focused. You load them up, and there's no sign of just raw music streams, it's all videos. But again, that's on both tiers, on Hi-Fi and Hi-Fi Plus. So that leaves the key differentiator between Hi-Fi and Hi-Fi Plus as its high-res audio provision. And the information table kind of sort of implies that all of Tidal's library is available in high-res audio. Or rather, it doesn't come clean with what I think is a necessary qualifier. So if we go back to the Tidal's app release notes from August, we see that it says that it has 6 million songs available in high-res FLAC. So if we give Tidal a little bit of leeway here and say that maybe they added a whole bunch more FLAC high-res files and cut them over from MQA since August, and they might have also added a whole lot more new release titles since then as well, we might stretch to believe that the high-res library would reach something like 8 million songs. Now, of 100 million songs that Tidal also boasts, that means that 8%, 8% of the total available library on Tidal is available in high-res on the Hi-Fi Plus tier. So flipping it around, 92% of all music on Tidal Hi-Fi Plus tops out at CD quality. Now, of course, that high-res library will be skewed heavily to albums released in the last 20 years or so, or albums remastered in the last 20 years or so. And the irony there is that more often than not, modern remasters can sound worse than the original masters, which are often wiped from a streaming service once a new remaster becomes available. So you might get more out of Tidal Hi-Fi Plus if your musical diet is dominated by new music or you have a thing for remastered classic albums. But in Germany, Tidal Hi-Fi goes for seven euros 50 a month and Hi-Fi Plus for almost 14 euros a month. And the latter for me is a straight nine danker. Now, what about Kobos? I don't use Kobos for two reasons. Firstly, there's no Kobos Connect. And secondly, there are more holes for me in its library than Tidal's. And then what about Apple Music? Well, I'll answer that question in our next video here on YouTube. But if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing down below. 
and please consider joining me on Patreon if you want to know why I made this video now in early 2024, or if you want Tidal and Kobo's playlists for all the videos that we've made in the last three years. Thank you ever so much for watching. And just this week, I discovered three EPs from a Berlin label who are slowly reissuing, re who are slowly reissuing, who are slowly reissuing, I can't even say it, who are slowly reissuing. And just this week, I discovered three EPs from a Berlin label that's slowly reissuing. And just this week, I discovered three EPs from a Berlin label that's slowly reissuing. God, I can't even say it again. A motorbike.